Okay, I got some people asking me how my 223, my 22 suppressor is set up. Okay, what I've done here, here's the threaded end. This is a solid piece. So I went and drilled some holes here slightly so I could make a wrench. That wrench fits in there and I'm able to undo it here. And then the end where the bullet comes out, I just drilled those holes all the way through and my wrench fits on there, either this way or that way. I have a total of 11 freeze plugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The first one I have eight holes. Now that wasn't done in any certain way. It's just maybe I drilled the holes across from each other and just kept on going until I get as many holes as I can. The next one is kind of I, I put them in there weird, no certain way, just however I can get them in there. There's eight holes as well, and then four holes, four holes. Now, my blast chamber right here is, uh, keep in mind these measurements are different for each one because as you form these freeze plugs here, the length can change here depending how much you form them on what sizes you started out with, what size hole you started out with. I started out with an eight, eighth inch and then used my torque bits. So this one's about almost uh, one and three quarter. This is one six twenty, but that doesn't matter. So I got the blast chamber, and then this freeze plug with eight holes, and then I got this one. And this one is just uh, six fifty five. Like I say, that doesn't matter though, because I just made these to what the length was close, and then I started sanding them after I fit all of my freeze plugs into the tube. Uh, one of the main things you want to do is once you finish your suppressor, when you screw this on there, it's going to be put on there all the way. You're going to want to loosen this one up, put your freeze plugs in, look, keep this one loose where the bullet comes out, and you're going to maybe have a tiny bit of gap right here, but th that doesn't matter. This one you want to make sure it is flush here, because if you get it off, it can kick off a little bit, and then you may have a baffle strike me doing mine I had multiple baffle strikes but they were mostly just the bullet barely touching in there maybe it was uh, taking off some of the the jacket of the bullet you know it, it was nothing ever catastrophic because I made my hole big enough for my holes uh, all of them are going to about let's see here if I can pick this up with one hand all of them go about to see if I get the lighting right 285 to 290. This is about 283, but you know, I'm not holding it with my hand there. So that's pretty much my setup for my 223.556 22 suppressor. Thanks.